So let's say, oh, this is beautiful. That was that was amazing. <laughs> Professional at work. Hang on. Oh my god! <laughs> Almost downloaded a whole beta software on my data plan. Stop! No! <laughs> stop! 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 Oh my god! Turn it off! Turn it off! Turn Greetings, Internet Crazy Ken is back from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and we actually shot this tech video log at the Omni William Penn Hotel in downtown Pittsburgh. So we now join our tech video log already in progress. And what better way to spend a beautiful day than stay indoors and upgrade your iPad? Yes, that's what all the cool kids are doing nowadays. And by cool kids, I mean myself and uh, Brent the Buffoon over here. Hi, Brent. Hello. Hey, what is your official alias for Crazy Ken here? I mean, I'm Crazy Ken. What's your alter ego? I mean, I think you went with Brent the Buffoon. How so... Brainiac Brent. How about that? Does that sound smarter? Much. Much smarter. All right. So right now, I am on iOS 10, which is boring and crap. You can only hold a whole six icons in your dock. I mean, come on, what what's that, right? We're going to get a lot more uh, It looks features. like you're not even on the latest version of iOS No, I, I am so far behind. Uh, so, actually, you know, while it, that's doing its thing, um, yeah. bu bust out your iPad Pro. What you, what you got? Where's your iPad Pro? Oh, it's over here. Oh, sitting around in this giant hotel room. Yeah. You're way on the other end of the penthouse house. We're so rich, we got a penthouse. So, boom! Oh my gosh, you bastard! <laughs> so this, it's big. It's just, I'm, I'm bigger than you, basically. <laughs> yeah, uh, show the, show that beautiful doc. So, first things first, you notice new animation, because your notification center is now your lock screen. For some reason, we'll figure that out. Yeah, try, message. try figuring that one out. <laughs> but yeah, you got a lot more space in the dock. We there. got a beautiful dock. Multitasking? You know, they got more professional features, so I want to try it out. And we um, want to, we should, we should really emphasize <laughs> beta. Yeah, there's a, there's a few bugs we got to work out. Oh, so. Okay. We will be installing iOS 11 public beta, not beta 2, because I just want a public beta test. I'm not really a developer. Now, I don't have my normal booze supply with me. So today, from the hotel here, I have Aqua Pana Toscana Italia, which may sound like an alcoholic beverage, and it looks like it's in a fancy bottle, but it's really just a $6 bottle of water, so if I really lose it, I will resort to this. Uh, first things first, we are going to need to get the beta software profile onto this iPad. In order to do that, you're going to need to sign up for Apple's public beta program, and that can be done by going to beta.apple.com. And I bet you a million bucks uh, I'm not on the hotel Wi-Fi here, so that's going to be gonna be a treat um i could use my hotspot for now but we won't do the download on my hotspot because sprint will murder me <laughs> so we'll just hop on the personal hotspot for now okay so now we will go to oh what was that happy fourth of july <laughs> happy fourth of july all my notifications are coming through now so we'll just kind of do that so we'll go to beta not batu beta Dot fortune dot apple dot com. All right, Apple software beta. Apple, 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 Apple. <laughs> yeah, that's what it says right there. Yeah. All right, I need a drink. <laughs> so here we are on the Apple beta software program. So I'm guessing we want to learn more about iOS 11, yeah? Or sign up. What do we do? Um, Be smart. Help well, me. Well, I can pretty much tell you most everything you would ever want to learn about iOS 11. So let's just go ahead and sign up. Oh, okay. <laughs> what the shit? Apple, you bastards. Come on. You might have to type that in again. No, the key, the, the key chain's got it. You didn't tap it. I can't tap from there this far away. Yeah. <laughs> Tapping is a very difficult procedure. Guide for public betas. So we want so it automatically iOS. selects the correct mm -hmm. operating system we want a beta test. So uh, tap and roll your device. Back up your device. We're rebels. I'm backed up over iCloud. iCloud, but uh, that's not a full backup. I was gonna say, should I run a backup to my computer first? It would not be a bad idea. We should probably do that. All right, and already we have an error message. Let's see. iTunes cannot back up the iPad, Ken's iPad, because there's not enough free space on the computer. That can be fixed. I will delete my massive, amazing world of Gumball library. So, we're gonna do that. We're gonna go here. Yeah, yes. uh, to actually, we can do this from the fancy new. Uh, Doohickey, the uh, a boot this mook. Go to the storage. 
Let's just delete everything. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that was lightning fast. Instant replay. Gosh darn it. Something happened already. I think you're jinxing yourself. I think that's the problem. Oh my gosh. Does it not want to delete? <laughs> oh, what the fuck is that? I can't explain that. While it's doing that, let's see if we can run the backup. Looks good. So far. All right, and as you can see, our backup is complete, so now we will move on to whatever Brent has me do next. Right, so... Archive and iOS backup. We did that. Well, we didn't archive it, but we backed up. Whatever. All right, so download profile. So just, I just tap on that, and it should automatically take you to the settings app and install the profile. Just tap on it? Just tap on it. Like this? No, because it didn't actually tap. <laughs> it actually didn't register Oh, gosh. That. I, I, thought, I thought I'd maybe be... I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm... Install? Yep. Don't look. Yeah, there you go. And don't look either. There. Alligator 3. He doesn't trust me. I trust you. Here, read me this bedtime story. Oh, that's it? What? Oh, no. iOS beta is pre-release software. Okay. So now that it's installing the profile, I'm guessing after it reboots, it's going to let us pull, like, the beta from the update thing in the preferences, or what? Yep, it just shows up right in the software update. Rather than showing the latest version of iOS 10, right. you will see the beta of iOS 11. Nice, okay. It's it's that simple. So anyway, now we should be able to go to software update, and it should give us the public beta. And boom! boom. All right, iOS 11 public beta. Install. Turn away. Eh, 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 eh. There we go. Oh, one password. Oh. Okay. oh, hang on, I got this. All right. The wheel in the sky keeps on turning. <laughs> I don't know where I'll be tomorrow. <laughs> I actually do. Sadly, I will be on a plane back to not here. Let's not think about that. Thanks, okay. Brainiac Brent. Thank you for coming. Ow. Oh, you scraped my head. Oh. I'm just kidding. No, you didn't. That oh, okay. that was, there we go. There you you go. can't see what's going on here, folks. Cover your eyes. <laughs> So, um, oh, did you say something about Sprint killing you? Oh shit! Stop! No! Stop! 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 Oh my god! Turn it off! Turn it off! Turn it off! Oh, d d uh, well, you can't uh, stop moving uh, it! Okay. I forgot to switch off my data plan. We almost just downloaded a whole... We almost downloaded a whole beta software on my data plan. Holy shit, Brainiac Brent. Okay, we're gonna need to take a quick break and um, <laughs> hop on the hotel's Wi-Fi. So before I totally effed up our data plan, which is a family data plan, by the way, so I would then have you an angry fell over your entire family. Yeah, I'd have an angry mob coming after me. Um, anyway, so we are now gonna join the hotel Wi-Fi. Now, deluxe internet access is a three. It says three megabyte, but they probably mean three megabit, which is actually a huge difference. But when you write it out, it's only the difference of a capital letter. But in terms of data. It's a huge mathematical difference, so be careful out there. We will now go back to... There we go. Oh, it actually automatically resumed. Okay. It's 23 minutes remaining. So it's actually slightly faster than over yeah, your it's actually, data plan. Yeah, it's faster than my data plan, and also... Um, They're not going to cap you. Oh, man, now it's at 17. Right, so now we are in the installation phase. The download is done. And when we come back, professional features await us. And just watch, none of them work on the iPad Air 2 because it's too old. And hey, hola. Yes, we are now at the, I guess the setup assistant or whatever, the, what, what do they call it in iOS? They do call it setup assistant. Okay, so I noticed we got a nice animation on the buttons there. That's already my favorite new feature. <laughs> All right, cover the camera. Post-production can kiss my ass access to the dock from anywhere. So they got little tutorials, I'm guessing, to show you these new features. But we're smart. We figured it out. Okay. Oh. Yes. Oh my gosh, files. Yes, I am stoked for files. So now we can actually put <laughs> more stuff down here because it actually supports... You cannot. I can't? Oh, you can. Yeah. It supports more than six items. 
so we can actually put stuff in the dock. It's actually being useful. The previous version was just such a waste of space. So now we can be like, yo, dock. Or we can just keep swiping up and get our beautiful app switcher. Woo! This, <laughs> this I like. And here's our control center. So we got yep. our brightness and our volume. Volume. Do you long press it? Okay, yep. so. You can long press on literally anything but these three things. So yeah. they'll, they'll, let, they'll let you know what you can't long press on. This, I think, is really cool. Timer. Because yeah. you can just quickly set a timer. That's boom, cool. Just like that. All right, so let's just take a look at some of the fun animations as we're taking this for a spin. Uh, yeah, so like, um, you know, if something doesn't support it, it'll let you know. But then, uh, for instance, things like our airplane mode, airdrop, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, you can long press on that. Is this also sideways? Yep. Oh, it is. It's, oh, oh okay. <laughs> it's still sideways, don't worry. And yeah, this one I really like. It's just a little, little lock animation and then woo, spins around. So yeah, little touches like that are nice. Okay, so we wanted to demonstrate the uh, drag and drop between two apps, but we can't get to the dock anymore. It just keeps going into the multitasking view, so... Oh, here's another fun thing. Whenever you're in multitasking view, tap on an app now. Uh... Any far. app. Notice how it doesn't launch that app anymore. Oh, it just goes to the home screen. That's cool. Yeah, that's a nice feature. Is, your dock is, like, almost non-existent at this point. Oh, that's great. So we're just gonna have to shut this sucker down for now. Right, so let's try that again. Let's try opening notes. Let's go to the Hickory Dickory Dock. Safari. Oops, I did that totally wrong. We're going to try that again. Take notes, drag it out, dock it. So let's say, oh, this is beautiful. That was that was amazing. That was amazing. Um, so let's see, can we just like take an image? Okay, I probably can't copy that hero image. Yeah, uh, they put them in that special banner that lets you not ah, select them. Well, let's go to... Uh, let's go to our site. Yeah. We do a bit of that, too, but not everywhere. I think our hero image you can actually drag. No, I'm pretty sure that's in a separate div. Yeah. All right. What about one of these? There we go. Well, that, that will actually drag the link. No? There you oh, go. No, got, there's got, the got the image right there. The image. So you can drag and drop assets. I'm pretty sure these are in a div. Yeah, a separate div that you can't drag. But yeah, you can just drag and drop stuff out. Just images... You know, like that, so that's pretty cool. Another thing, if you drag one of the images or one of the tiles that has, like, YouTube or something, and then drag it up to the top. Oh, well, not, like, here. Can I can I get your seat for a sec? Okay. I'm going to sit on the refrigerator. Yeah. <laughs> so here's another thing I can do. Oh, what the shit? Right? Is, was that in 10? No. Oh. I was going to say, no, in I fact, don't... whenever you remember how whenever you double tap, it would do that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, now you can just drag it. Okay. Well, yeah. Um, now it just opens up in a new tab. Oh. And then in order to get stuff, you just Fancy. drag any link, whether oh. it's text or a picture. Oh, I th and split screen. I think I just jazzed. <laughs> I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I'm going to cut that out probably. <laughs> I don't know. Hang on. So let me play with this a little more. Sure. Um, so like video series, it's like, hey, let's watch video series. Let's watch video series. Fuck. I well, you gotta, um, so like video series, it's like, hey, let's watch videos. Fuck. Well, you gotta... Sorry, can I do it on this side? Ooh. If fuck, wow. Hang on. Sorry, I'm, I'm good at this. Release. There you go. There you go. So now we got our series tiles should pop up here. Yep. Yeah, there we go. And then what I can do is I can actually drag one of these back over here. Oh. And there we go. And can you still long press open on other side? Yeah. So long press. Or, or not. Oh. Oh, it's borked. We, we borked it. Well, normally I'm guessing you can. Normally you should be able to. <laughs> we are so competent. So yeah, like that. Yeah. So, so, so you'll see the image pop up, but then if you release, oh, there's, the, that, there's the menu. That's cool. Okay. I'm, I'm so laggy. I'm stuck. Full screen. There we go. Oh, there you go. So uh, here's another oh. new thing we can demo too. Oh! There's a new player. Yes, I love that they finally put the um, the second skippers in here, because those mm -hmm. are so much more like efficient than the freaking like hold down button, rewind, fast forward. Oh yeah. Picture in picture right there. Exit, uh, return to the player, volume mute, and I think uh, volume controls are also just up here like this. It's not a giant HUD that takes up the middle of yep. your screen anymore. And the um, Facebook gesture that they really pioneered, I believe they're in charge. Oh of yeah. This. Flip it down and it will exit out. So yeah, very nice changes with the media player, and I love this. 
just like these little <laughs> skip buttons. Those are so much nicer, so much nicer. It makes so much more sense to use that. Um, so now, I think there's one more uh, favorite feature that we want to demonstrate for you guys inside the Notes app. Isn't that right, Brent? This is cool. Right, go get the test subject. All right. Well, with our professional lighting setup, we are now going to demonstrate the document scanner feature with our original inked Unikitty piece of art. So, inside the Notes app, we can actually, let me just cancel out of here. Inside Notes, we can just hit New, Scan Documents, and then it brings up a scanner with the camera. I'm going to line it up. And I could also click the shutter button or just let it take the picture automatically. And there we go. It saved a scan. So now once the scan is complete, we can actually adjust the crop if we need to try to make more of a perfect square or change the shape up a bit using these handles. And one thing that's uh, definitely important to note, see that right there. The nice thing about it is it's not limiting you to a square. So it's going to automatically straighten that out for you based on wherever the actual corners of the page are in the photo. So we can also change it to photo mode, black and white, grayscale, and color based on the scan there. So, pretty swanky. Anyway, so that is the iOS 11 public beta installation sensation with a little bit of a test drive. Not a full demo, but an incredible simulation. So thank you, Brainiac Brent, for helping me out here. Yay! Um, any closing words before we still try to figure out what the fuck Apple really wants to do with this? Honestly, just good luck figuring that out. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for following along, and we'll see you in the not-too-distant future.